guys, my name is Katie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited because I'm going to be doing a Christmas haul. I have never done a haul video before. Usually I just do like little mini unboxings and reading vlogs, but since Christmas is a lot at once, I decided I wanted to show everything in one shot. And this video will be broken up into a few different parts because I did pre-film some of this when I was home in Boston and I'm at my parents now, um, just with some of the gifts that I had already gotten that I wasn't going to bring on the plane with me just so that I could show off everything. This is like part Christmas haul, but also just part haul for some books that I've gotten in the last few months because I like haven't had a chance to talk about all of them and I just kind of wanted to go through like a little bit of what I've gotten. This is also going to be half book call, half K-pop haul because I've recently gotten into collecting K-pop albums. It's a lot of fun and I do just kind of want to talk about some of the ones that I've gotten but I've broken up this video so that the book part is first and then the K-pop part is second. So if you have no interest in watching that, you can just X out of the video and call it a day. Um, I did get some other stuff for Christmas as well that wasn't bookish. Actually, most of the stuff I got for Christmas wasn't bookish or K-pop related, but I'm not gonna be showing that because I just don't think it's like super relevant. Um, but yeah, I just am so grateful to my family for always putting together a really nice Christmas for us. And Christmas is just my favorite time of the year because I just spend a lot of time with my mom, dad, sister, and grandma. And it's just always really special to me. I just love the atmosphere of Christmas and having up a Christmas tree. It's great. So now I will be inserting the clip of me talking about some books that I got earlier in the year. So here you go. I've actually found that as I get more into K-pop, I am spending less money on books, which I think is good for me personally because I kind of need to catch up on my TBR. But also like there's just less books coming out now this time of year. So I'm just gonna start with some stuff that I've accumulated. I don't have like a hard, like in my mind of like when I'm gonna start showing books, probably just from the last few months. And then I'll get into the Christmas stuff. But I do feel like I haven't had a chance to show off what I've gotten on my vlogs because I haven't been necessarily vlogging consistently and always showing stuff. So let's get into it, shall we? So I think I'm just gonna start from what I've bought since like October, November-ish. And the first thing that I want to start with hauling is the whole Stocking Jack the Ripper series, which is Stocking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco, Hunting Prince Dracula, Escaping from Houdini, and Capturing the Devil. I've talked about this series pretty extensively on my channel in a bunch of vlogs, TBRs, and wrap-ups i will link places that i talked about it below in october isabella and i decided that we were going to buddy read the whole series and so i bought myself the whole thing i said oh, i'll just start with like the first book and then maybe i'll pick up the rest of the series later on in life and um i loved it so much i picked up everything immediately we read the whole series together and it's just so special to me i'm really happy that i bought this whole series and got into it this year because it really means a lot to me speaking of isabella the next thing that I have to haul are two mangas that I got, which are Death Note, the Black Edition Volume 1, and Full Metal Alchemist, the Full Metal Edition Volume 1, which were gifted to me by Isabella because she is literally the sweetest person ever. And so, like, in, in the note she wrote in Death Note, she was like, I know you told me not to get you anything, but that's literally like telling me not to cry every time Jimin comes up on my timeline. Because I had mentioned to Isabella that I wanted to get more into manga. So I've already read Death Note and I talked about that in my November wrap up and I absolutely loved it. And I know that Isabella has taste when it comes to manga and my other friend Keely has just also read this. And um, I think I'm going to love it. I'm really, really excited to read it. I'm just so thankful for Isabella's friendship that we got to read Buddy Read a series together and we can share our love of books and K-pop. It's just fantastic. Thank you. I feel like I tell you every day, but I love you. Thank you. <laughs> the next thing that I acquired was another present, and that is from my lovely friend, Madison Mary over at Princess of Paperback, who is my homegirl. Um, we just send each other presents back and forth, basically. And so she had read the arc of Shadow Frost by Coco Ma, and she loved it so much. She's like, please, my child, read this. And I said, okay. And then she sent me the arc. 
and she didn't even sign her name. I'm the art, the finished copy. She didn't even sign her name on the note. I'm actually currently reading this one. I'm 17 pages in, so as you can see, I've made a big dent. Um, thank you so much, Madison. I really appreciate it, and I just feel like I'm gonna really love it. I love like the smooth, velvety matte feel of it. Just like. Thank you for being my friend. I got The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern, which is honestly such a stunning book. There are some Goldsboro editions that are like, and uh, Watterson's editions that are really stunning, but I still think the regular US edition is really, really pretty. I mean, I'm a sucker for these types of books that just put a lot of effort into the, you know, the way that it's bound. And I went to the signing for Erin Morgenstern, so I got to talk to her and my copy is signed and so I'm absolutely so excited to read this and at her signing she said that it's a really good winter book so I think that I want to try and read this in January when we are in the depths of winter because if it's a winter book that would be the perfect time. Then next I have the sequel to Girls of Paper and Fire which is Girls of Storm and Shadow by Natasha Neon which is a book that I definitely want to get to soon. I absolutely love Girls of Paper and Fire. I think it's so impactful, really important. And so of course I had to pre-order my copy of Girls of Storm and Shadow so I could get it as soon as possible. Have I read it yet? No, but we're not gonna talk about that. The next thing that I want to haul are the monstrous comics. I have been absolutely head over heels in love with this graphic novel. It is just so cool. Like I seriously think it's really, really beautiful graphic novel series so we have volume one awakening volume two the blood and volume three haven so i've read volumes one and two and the only other one that is out now is volume four so once i catch up to the series i'll be sad that i have no more to read but like i can definitely see myself revisiting these time and time again i love like the feel of them like reading is so tactile and i don't think we talk about enough like just about like the feeling of having a book in your hands which is why for me like a kindle will never fully replace owning books if you like high fantasy and you like graphic novels and you want a high fantasy graphic novel i really suggest this series because it is so awesome now i just need to haul some books that i got from lovely friends for christmas so far the first book that i got is the toll by neil shusterman and this is from austin thank you so much austin we were really going through it together at BookCon over this book because you had to go around and talk to people dressed as the Grim Reaper and say the certain phrase from Twitter to them that was obviously embarrassing to say and they would say like, oh, you have been chosen or you're not chosen. And Austin went up and they said, you know, the thing the Grim Reaper and they're like, oh, you are not chosen. And then the lady behind them said it and got an arc and was like, yeah, like, I don't really care about this series. And we were like, what? So yeah, we have some fond memories about this book and hopefully I can get to it soon because I really did enjoy the first two in the series. Really compelling. So thank you so much, Austin. I love you and appreciate your friendship. And then Yasmin got me Call Down the Hawk by Maggie Stiefvater, which is the next one in the Raven Cycle. Yasmin is just such a sweet soul. I love her videos. I love talking to her. I love telling her that she needs to get more into BTS. It's fine, my influence. And yeah, just like such a sweet person. Thank you so much for the gift. Like I kindly, I don't know what I did to deserve all these beautiful friends that just wanna send me books for Christmas, but it just makes my heart so, so happy. And then lastly, I have The Blood Air by Amelia Wen Zhao, and this is from Perina and me and Perina were hanging out a lot at BookCon this year. I feel like we just got close that way. I'm really Snapchat and like, just love you, Perina. Thank you so much for this lovely Christmas gift. I will treasure it. So those are actually all the books that I have to haul in this portion and then we'll see what I get for Christmas. All right, and now welcome back to the present. <laughs> um, now I'm going to be going into the books that I got for Christmas. <laughs> I actually really didn't get that many books for Christmas. I had put more on my list but my mom was basically like um you already have a lot of books so i was like okay i can't complain so the first book that i got is the crooked kingdom collector's edition by lee bardugo i have the six of crows collector's edition at home and i have had my eye on this collector's edition but i did just wait for christmas because i knew that i could get it then and it's just so beautiful i love the gold details and this over here it's just so shiny and then of course we have the black sprayed edges whereas the six of crows one is black cover with 
red foiling and red sprayed edges, I think. Maybe it has black sprayed edges, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't have it with me. And then what's really cool about this edition is it has really cool detailing on the bottom of the pages and this awesome map here. This beautiful cover page art. I just love when they incorporate more art into the books and doing artsy things. It's really what makes a special edition special. We have these cool chapter headers, like this is Wyland's chapter header. Just like the attention to detail is great. And then of course in the back there is art by Monoline and I love their art. And this one is about like the horoscope signs of each character. So it has like horoscopes. So this is Kaz and Inej, Nina and Matthias. Jesper and Wylan, and then we also get Kui, and another map here at the back. Yeah, I just absolutely love collecting collector's editions. I just think that they are so special, especially if you love a book. I always treasure having a, an extra special copy. Just I have a collector's heart. I love collecting things. I just love collecting things. <laughs> So speaking of collector's editions, I also have this beautiful, beautiful edition of Clockwork Angel, 10th anniversary edition. Clockwork Angel and Infernal Devices in general is my favorite in the Shadowhunters universe. Like, I really connect with Tessa Gray as a character. She is one of my favorite characters in literature and like, I just have a lot of special feelings associated with Shadowhunters because I read them and then reread them with my best friend Melissa when we were in high school and again after graduated college and it just really means a lot to me and I just really see myself in Tessa a lot and so like just to have a collector's edition of this book is just so special. This is just the regular collector's edition, not the Illumicrate one and this is from Walker's Books UK. And then on the back there's a quote that says, this is your true self Tessa, this power is who you are. I almost wish that they would do an anniversary edition for Clockwork Prince and Princess but I don't think that they will because they only did City of Bones. But as you can see all the gold detailing with all the gears, really really pretty. And then we have this illustration of Tessa. I believe this is by Cassandra Jean, who does a lot of the artwork for the Shadowhunters world. So here again is Tessa, Jem, and Jessamine, Henry and Charlotte, Will and Sophie, and Gabriel. And then there is Will. So yeah, these collector's editions just are really special and I love having them. Okay, so then these next two books are from my dear friend Keely and it's funny because we got each other the same present and that is Yona of the Dawn volume one. This is a manga and we decided to buddy read it in January because our good friend Madison Mary over at Princess of Paperback recommended this in one of her manga videos. I'll leave it linked and I don't really know much about manga and Maddie is like an expert. So I've been going to her for recommendations and Keely has as well. And she talked about this in one of her videos and it instantly grabbed my attention and I've been meaning to read it. So Keely and I were like, let's buddy read it. So that's what we're gonna do. So we basically bought it for each other. Love to see it. She also got me this book, Grave Mercy, which is by Robin LaFavors. And I put this on my list because this series got these new paperback covers because then the Courting Darkness duology, which takes place in this world, came out and they are stunning books as well. I like have a meaning to read this one. So thank you, Keely, for getting this for me because now I can read it. Okay, let's just read the back because I literally don't really know too much. Um, in 15th century Brittany, Ismay escapes from the brutality of an arranged marriage to the convent of St. Mortain, where the sisters still serve the gods of old. Here she learns that she has been sired by the god of death himself and will be trained in his arts. Ismay's most important assignment takes her to the high court of Brittany, where deadly games of intrigue and treason create impossible choices. How can she deliver death's vengeance upon a target who, against her will, has stolen her heart? The first book in the Tantalizing His Fair Assassin trilogy introduces a darkly imagined world that combines romance and captivating action. This honestly sounds like something I will love, so thank you for getting this for me. You know my taste. And the last thing that Keely got me, because apparently she likes to spoil me, is this little Tata Funko Pop. Um, I guess I could put this in my K-pop section, but since we're in the Keely section, I'm just gonna put it here. 
so let's open them up. I already have the RJ Funko Pop, but he's just so adorable. I love Tata a lot and I'm so excited to add him to my collection. I kind of want to get all the BT21 character Funko Pop. So far, I just have these two and like, he's going to look so cute on my shelf. I really kind of have this thing with Funko Pops where I don't really like collecting people Funko Pops unless they're Harry Potter characters. I really like more of like the animal ones. So I have like a lot of Pokemon ones. I've been collecting Pokemon ones. Um, Harry Potter animals. So like when Fantastic Beasts come out, like I like to get those like animal ones. Like I have the Niffler and stuff like that. I have some How to Train Your Dragon ones. So I just kind of go for like more of the cutesy animal ones than like the people want so like this is perfect for me and like he just is so cute and then this is finally i got an archer and olive bullet journal from my parents for christmas i have been into bullet journaling since like about the spring this year and since i have pretty much filled out a whole journal already i wanted to get this super nice quality one and my parents were kind enough to get it for me for christmas because i always send them pictures of my journal so here's just like the opening page and i've already started to fill it out but like the pages are so thick and it has this silvered edge and i just love the quality and the look of this journal it is also the pages are a little bit bigger than the let's churn i was using so i just feel very happy with this purchase to like up my bullet journal game a little bit especially because now that i know that i'm like committed to bullet journaling um my favorite spread that i've done so far is this one because i just love the little butterfly illustrations and to go along with that i did also get a pack of 120 colored pencils i'm sure when my mom saw my christmas list and was like why is this child that is 24 years old asking for a gigantic pack of colored pencils well that's just life sometimes so that is again that for the book section and now we will go on to the k-pop section so if you are here for just books like you can just leave now <laughs> but i do have some k-pop albums that i want to haul and here i will go ahead with the pre-filmed clip that i filmed like two weeks ago starting in like july i think i got into bts during the reading rush it was really when i fell down the rabbit hole that's just where I, I am here now and now I like multiple bands and so I've just been collecting albums and the two bands that I really want to collect everything for are BTS and ATs because I love them and they are amazing and it's just a lot of fun collecting albums and like there's just something I think that like as readers people with booktube unless you read with Cindy and have like no books I think we all like to collect things I mean that's like I like to collect stories right and music is a different type of art form of storytelling so to me once i got into this band and i formed like a really emotional connection with them i wanted to start collecting the albums even though i told myself i wasn't going to um so just like slowly when i have some extra cash i will buy the album so i've been slowly but surely building up my collection so this is what i have so far at this point all right so the first album that i bought was persona which is the latest bts album and i got a random version because I, at this point when I bought it, didn't even know that there were different versions. So I ended up getting a version two, which if you, so it comes like this with the CD and when you take it out, it has a little photo book. And in the photo book is a, a, is a photo shoot and like each version has like a different theme photo shoot. It's like this one is the bathroom photo shoot so i'll just show this picture i just like love the feeling of this like photo book it's so cool so not only is it this album but it comes with other stuff so for my version 2 i originally got a yugi photo card that i traded with ness and now i have this jk photo card i also got this jimin postcard with the blankets it's so cute and on the back has a little signature theme and with every album comes the notes these are all in korean so obviously i can't read them but you know i still have them and then what's really cool is i got this persona standee which is apparently rare i mean i didn't know that when i opened it but like apparently it's rare so like good for me then i also got the film strip which is super cute yeah, I just like love all the packaging aspects of it. It's really fun. So then next up in my journey, I actually got a Super M album with 
came in. So like Super M is this group formed by a set of people from like other groups and I just got really excited about all the promo and this was super cheap. So I was like, you wanna know what? I will buy it. And it turns out that Taemin is not even my bias anymore. It's Baekhyun. But you know, I still love Taemin. He's super famous. He's really from Shiny. So like it has a dust jacket and when you take it off, it looks like this. And on the back it says Taemin. CDs in here and then the photo book is of just Taemin. So like these photos. So yeah, it's pretty cool to have. So like with this one, I just got like the one album because I really liked the album. Like I don't think I'll be collecting them or anything like that. Whereas like with BTS, like I will try and collect every version. Maybe with Super M I'll collect like one album per thing. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> so with this album, I ended up getting the Mark photo card in the front and then on the back. I was browsing the web and I found a Baekhyun photo card for pretty cheap. So I purchased it because he is my best. So let's see. So then next, the thing that I have been wanting for a long time is the notes for the most beautiful moment in life. So those notes that I pulled out of the album are all compiled and translated into English here. And this follows along with the BTS universe story, which is like the storyline behind their music videos, which is like very dark and involved. And I, that is one of the things that really got me into the music is I love when there's like storytelling and like other creative aspects with it. So that's a, a thing that really, really got me into them as a band. So, I bought this book so that I could read it and I could know more about the storyline because it's so involved and there's just like a lot of theory crafting and that's really fun for me. So, um, yes. So the next album that I bought was Love Yourself Answer version F, which it comes in this slip. And then this is like the, so there's a CD here and a CD back here and it is the playground photo shoot which if you watch bts run that's the photo shoot that they use in the opening credits so yeah and with this album i got the today photo card which this is my favorite thing ever and when i opened my album and saw that i had pulled my bias i was a little emotional and then it also came with the notes and some stickers, which are super cute. Oh, there's also posters that come with a lot of these, but I'm not showing them because it's a lot of effort, <laughs> basically. Okay, the next band that I got into is ATs, and ATs took me by surprise. They're a rookie group. They've only been around for about a year, and when they released their single Wonderland, I was like, who are they? And I fell head over heels in love with them, so I decided that I must collect because I just love collecting and so I have their album Treasure here and this is their first full-length album. I also got the same album for Maddie for her birthday because we both love them and we are seeing them together in April and I cannot wait and yeah it's just like really cool packaging so when you open it up you have the photo book here which is like the uniform one with this really really cool photo shoot. I think it's my favorite one that they've ever done and yeah so like i was super happy with this purchase and then you get a sticker sheet and a cd so like catch me buying a cd player eventually for all of these cds that i now own and with this one i pulled the mingi photo card who is jess's favorite and then you get the group photo card and then you also get this like thing and then you put this over and you can interpret and it ended up being lyrics for a song that they dropped on their one year anniversary special. The other cool thing is that all the credits are written on like these postcards. So you get postcards of all the members. I'm just gonna show the one group shot here, but you get individual ones, which I think is like really cool for collecting. Then let's see. Then the next thing is I had a Tarjay gift card. So I got BTS World, which I just think has the coolest packaging. Cause if you like open it up, the CD is in here. And then like on the sides, it's all like sparkly. And the book, so this, this is the book that like goes along with the app. And so like the photo book is like two-sided, 
because there's two different photo shoots going on and it like ties in with the game. I wish that I have played the game more at this point, but um, I haven't. Here's like a group one, but yeah, it's really, really shiny. Um, yeah, so you know what? This is like still a book haul because all of these albums come with books. <laughs> okay, and then my photo cards for that one. I pulled Hobie, playing with a dog here, here. And then I originally pulled JK, but I traded with my lovely friend Kayla for this Tay one, which is just like the cutest little photo card. It's a slippery spiral. You say that you won't collect things and like buy things, and then you do. Anyways, and then... The other thing that this album came with is this cool, like, lenticular ticket, which, like, is in the game. I'm realizing now I'm hauling way more K-pop stuff than books, but you know what? That's how life be stuff. So, the next thing that I got is this album. Also, like, right now it seems like I spent a lot of money on this, but I've actually really haven't because I've been treating myself to this stuff when I either have a coupon I get it for a good price or like I have gift cards. So like this is me been mostly buying stuff with gift cards that I've gotten. Be thrifty, my friends. Anyway, so this one is actually one that I found on Mercari for cheap and you could choose which photo card you got with it, which is pretty cool. So that app is good sometimes. I'll see if I can like link below if you like sign up with like, if it's like a referral program or anything like that. Um, if you guys are like looking for goodies because sometimes you can find books on there too. I actually have an Illumicrate copy of Dark Dawn up on there if you want to purchase it for me, so, you know. Okay, so then this is their Treasure Episode 3. This is their third mini album, and it's, like, the summer-themed one, and it has such a cute, like, bright theme. And it comes with, like, a poster, of course, and then stickers, this. And now that I don't have, like, these in my binder, I can show like what the postcards look like, but you get postcards for each member. Just go back quick. And all the like song credits are on the, the back. It's pretty cool. Cool way of doing it. So because for this one, I bought it from someone that was selling it unsealed i got to choose which photo card i wanted so i got the songwa photo card because he is my bias and it came with the group photo card as well which, again i just like love the theme it's so nice and cool all right and then um, one last k-pop album to haul and that is love yourself tear check it out the slip and then the cd is like on its own thing um, this is version O, which is like, I think the fake love one, but it is a very nice photo shoot. That's all I'm going to say. All black and white. Yeah, this is definitely one of my favorites. And of course, with this one, the photo card that I got was J-Hope. And this might be one of my favorite looks on him. Truly, it is amazing. Again, that's the back. All right, and now we are back here. And so I'm just gonna go through what I got for Christmas. <laughs> it's funny filming this video, I realized that I've gotten way more K-pop stuff than like books lately, but I have a lot of unread books, so I haven't been like actively buying them as much. Um, and instead kind of focusing my money on collecting these albums. Um, I just have a collector's soul. I just love <laughs> buying things and having them and like having a collection. Um, this is just something I've known about myself from an early age. I've always had collections of things that I love, whether it be like Tamagotchis or Webkins or like literally anything I will collect. <laughs> I did get this beautiful album for Christmas and this is the Young Forever repackage. And this is, like I can't decide which is my favorite BTS album, but this does have a lot of songs that I absolutely adore on it. And then I knew I, knew I wanted to ask for this one for Christmas. Um, I just love like the concept and it's so pretty. This is the day version. So this is what the CD lo slip looks like with the two discs and the back of the CD disc. It's just crazy to me like how K-pop is like eons ahead of Western music in terms of the packaging. And then this is the poster and I absolutely adore this poster. It's just so simple. Um, but if you are a BTS fan, you know that this air balloon has a lot of meaning. 
And then again with the colors, this is Young Forever. You can kind of see that it says Young Forever on here, but not really. And then these are just some beautiful concept photos with the air balloon. So yeah, and it's a nice hardcover book. So I was just super happy to add this one to my collection. And with this album, I pulled the Hobie photo card. It is just so adorable. Since I'm going group order, I'll just tell the story now, but I had gotten an AT's album in the mail and it's from my dear friend Isabella, who we are in to BTS and AT's together. We kind of became really close because we were both into BTS and I was like, hey, like I really like this band AT's. I think you should check it out. And now we are both like into them like a lot and it just has brought us a lot closer and I'm so thankful for our friendship. So I got an AT's album in the mail and I'm like, oh my God, like, thank you, Isabella. Like, this is so great. And she's like, oh, like there is another part of your package coming. And I was like, okay, like, I don't, I don't know what to expect. She freaking got me another album, which is Love Yourself, Her, and it's version E, which is the DNA version. So in this album comes the CD slip and the photo book. I'll find like a nice group shot. It's like the pizza place one. I was just so shocked. Like I can't believe she got me both a BTS and an 80s album. Like what did I do to deserve such a wonderful friend? <sighs> My heart is just full. <laughs> and with that one, I pulled the Hobie photo card. Really cute one. And then next, I went to Target and I had some money to spare at Target and I picked up another copy of Love Yourself Her, which is version O, which is like the flower photo shoot version, which is one of my favorite photo shoots. So, this is the group shot for that one. I said this is a concept. It is just so ethereal and pretty, and I absolutely love this photo book. I mean, BTS is like my favorite, so anything makes me emotional. Mm -mm -mm. And the photo card that I got with that one is this beautiful Jungkook photo card. It's so ethereal. And of course, the Her albums also come with this sticker set, which like I love the concept of like these flowers. So I'm gonna have to stick them probably like on my binder or something since now I have two copies. I have extra stick. Oh, I guess at this point I can talk about how I got some Christmas cards and I got Christmas cards from a few people, but mostly Mel and Amy both sent me um, these gin photo cards from the Love Yourself Speak Yourself final. And so here they are. Jin is like my bias record at this point and they just like knew that he has been wrecking me lately, so they sent me these to continue the wrecking, I suppose. <laughs> but thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. I didn't have to do that. So next are my 80s albums. I have two here. I have Treasure Episode 2, which is on the Say My Name in Hala Hala era. And Isabella got me this and wrote me such a sweet note. And I absolutely love her to death. And in this one, I pulled the... Yosang a photo card, which I actually guessed that I would pull him and I did so like I think That is fate uh, and Yosang is Isabella's bias but like one of her biases, but <laughs> We all have like ten biases in this group. You know, there's only eight. It's fine um, And then this is the group photo card like normally a lot of these albums comes with posters And I like don't know what to do with them because I don't really have anywhere to hang up posters But this one is really cool because it has half the members in the Say My Name outfits and have them in the Hala Hala outfits. And it's like this whole concept of facing your true identity, which is the Hala Hala concept and the Say My Name. And then there's also a third styling here that doesn't go with any music video, but I really love the outfits in that too. Then the last album that I got is Wave by ATs. This is episode three. Yeah, basically <laughs> I decided, I was like, you wanna know what? Like I really, really love ATs. I want to collect their albums. And since they're new, it won't be that hard to catch up on my collection. Except they've released like so many albums in the span of like a year. <laughs> So it actually is kind of a lot to catch up, but um, with Christmas and stuff and I've done some group orders 
but save money so i have more coming in the mail i love the way the blue and yellow look together it's just a very bright concept and this one is just like a very summery photo shoot and so this is the wave group photo for the music video and then this is the second photo shoot in here yeah but like this album was perfect for summer i think it came out in june and then it came with this sticker set all her albums actually come with sticker sets so anyways with the wave album i pulled yoon ho's card where he has the green blue hair so i know kiwi i love that <laughs> and every album of course comes with a group card which i enjoy all right so that is it for my first ever haul video um thank you so much for watching leave a comment down below like what was your favorite thing that you got for christmas whether it's bookish or k-pop and um yeah thanks for sticking here have some fun read some books and i'll catch you guys in the next one